rapper. No name having looking ragged lame rapper. You nut hugger butt buddy fudge packer. Okay, enough of that. My real friends call me Ash. What's up guys, girls, and everyone in between? I'm your host Paul Goon and you're watching 13 Minutes. This week we're at Borman Park with the members of Where's Winona Now. Guys, the way we start the show always is first, middle, last name, and position in the band. Start at either end and go to the other end. <laughs> you got it. Well, I'm Don Vincenzo. I'm lead guitarist. I'm um, Connor Lane. I play the drums. Lucy Sawyer. I sing. That's cool. You guys just skipped over the middle names. Yeah, I was gonna say it, but then Dom <laughs> and Connor both did not. Yeah, that's alright. You guys don't have middle names. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> alright, good to meet you guys. Thanks for coming to the show. I see you guys have like a real cool backstory uh, for where the name came from. So like I read it, I know it, but like tell people where the name come from. Cause I kind of had a hunch that that's what it was, but I was like, is that really what it, and then when I read the story, I was like, yeah. So yeah, tell people. Okay. Um, our now rhythm guitarist who was our lead guitarist who quit, but now he's back, <laughs> said that I looked a lot like Winona Ryder. And I was like, you're funny. And then he was like, where's Winona now, ha ha. And I was like, that'd be a cool name. And he was like, yeah. And so now it is. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I guess it, she that. did disappear for a while, huh? Yeah. And then came back right after we became a band. So we were salty. Yeah. Which, yeah. <laughs> no, that's all right. You guys just, she probably heard of you guys and wanted to answer the question. She wanted to let people know where she was. Like she came out of the dark just for you guys. So that's cool. <laughs> Thanks for bringing back like a washed up uh, actress. Um, <laughs> how long have you guys been writing music together? How long has Where's Winona now been a band? Um, okay, Where's Winona now has been a band since 2014. Okay. And then we went through like eight drummers and then we had Connor. And then Dom just joined last summer. Right? Yeah, like, almost a year ago now. Yeah. Okay, very cool, very cool. Um, did it start out the way it is now? Like, as, like, a real cool, like, punk, you know, fast punk band, or, like, what? I mean... <laughs> what, you know, like, how did it, how did it start, I guess? You want to take this? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm curious how you guys got to the style you got, because I love it. I love the music you make, so... Well, I, I joined the band in, like, 2015, 2016. Okay. And they were just making, you know... Garage punk. Like garage punk, yeah. And then I joined the band, and we just started like developing our own sound. And now with Dom in the band, we can go a little bit heavier. Cause yeah. Dom's more capable of, you know, of it than our other guitarist was. So. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, right. I'm not trying to like throw them under the I'm bus. I'm not trying to like dog on Tyler or anything. Tyler is a great guitarist. Just not as good as Dom, right? Yeah, not as good as Dom. <laughs> no, if, if Tyler watches this, no offense to Tyler. <laughs> no, very much offense. Okay, I'm just joking. Um, I'm like, you know, like we have this punk rock lady front woman who has to like wrangle up a couple, you know, a few guys and keep them in line. You know, how is that? How is it being the, the cool lead of the band and having to, you know, keep these guys in their place? Honestly, they all listen pretty well. It's not that hard. Yeah. If I say no, then they don't do it. So they know you're in charge? Yes. Absolutely. Very <laughs> cool. I like it. Who writes the lyrics for the songs? Is I, it just you? Yeah. yeah. She writes everything. Yes, all the I lyrics. Do. She writes the guitar parts, no. the drum no, parts. No, oh, she's really in charge. I understand. <laughs> so she's orchestrating the whole thing. Okay. This is cool. She wow. always tells us what to do. Yeah. Do you guys are just puppets? That's, that's not a big yeah, deal. Basically. Someone's got it. Yeah, someone's got it. Yeah. <laughs> Where was the first show that you guys played? And how did it go? The very first show you played. With, with Dom or without Dom? Uh, it, uh, as Where's Winona Now? Where's the first show ever as Where's Winona Now? Eurogyro. Yeah, Eurogyro and Ken. How did it go? It was shitty, man. Real <laughs> shitty or just oh, like yeah. kind of shitty? Well, I had never been like on the stage in my life, so. Okay. That was my first show with the band. The other bands were great, but. Yeah, the other bands were so good. <laughs> So you guys think that your set maybe was like a little bit uh, not up to your expectations at this point? Yes. Of course. <laughs> so, okay, I mean, that's reasonable, and that's probably how a lot of first gigs go. I remember uh, I didn't feel too happy about the time I performed first. I got a good review, but I don't know if I, it was deserved. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so then what, I know you guys had a show last night, so tell me about the most recent show. From the first show till now, how has performing on stage um, evolved for you guys, and how does it feel now? How do you feel about your performances when you walk off that stage? 
compared to when you first started? So much better. Yeah? <laughs> I feel like last night was one of the best shows that we ever played. Okay, it good. Was, I'm glad to hear was, that. It was probably the best show we ever played. People were singing along to our songs. What, what dancing, a, yeah, dancing, all everything. Singing right? along to the covers we played. And you guys bring a lot of good energy. I'm not surprised to hear that. There, that you guys certainly make good, a good type of music for people to do that too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what we. Ate. Of course. Good. No. It's like I mentioned last night, the show. Um, our goal is to really get people entertained and involved. So if we see that the people are having a good time, then. We're having a good time as well. Oh, of course. I guess that's what it's for, right? You know what I mean? For sure. You know. Um, I really, yeah, like I already said, I really love the fact that you guys are making, like, some good punk music. You know what I mean? Because um, a lot of the stuff that people try to put on as punk these days is really very poppy and not so... You know, and like you guys played that show with the Service Monkeys last night. They're another one that are doing it. It's good to find people that are really trying to, like, drive those punk roots in today's modern music scene, who are some of your guys' favorite punk bands? Because I know I have my favorites. Okay, mine's really shitty. <laughs> That's all right. Um, Bikini Kill. Okay. You probably don't know. No, I've never heard of them. Yeah. Kathleen is it because they're shitty it's, it's or? It's all girls, yeah. No, that's cool. That's <laughs> Yeah, that's very cool. But yeah, she's definitely my, uh, my influence for sure. I'm going to check out Bikini Kill. What do you got, Connor? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not really a punk person. I just, uh, yeah, I just know. Yeah, all right, well, who's your favorite metal band, then? That's a, that's a couple right there. I got, I listen to, like, Our Last Night, Who's Out There, I Prevail, Metal Festival, Metallica, you know. Oh, uh, can't go wrong with Metallica. I love those first two albums. Really love the first two albums. Dom? Uh, same with Connor. Like, I really don't listen to a whole lot of punk, but punk-wise, I'd probably say maybe, like, The Offspring, if you consider them, like, punk. But, oh, I certainly do. Yeah, they, they definitely, like, um, help bring punk to, um, to like a more mainstream light while still keeping right. it pretty punk. I think they did a good job of that. I, I like the oh, offspring. Yeah. I know that you guys have like these really cool t-shirts. Obviously Dom's wearing one. You guys have some merch. Do you have other merch or is that what's on the line right now? Ooh. We actually just announced a new shirt that we will be releasing uh, pretty soon with the release of our EP that's going to be coming up sometime. At the, well, at the time of recording this, like the week of March 11th through whenever, so it's going to be out any day, so we're going to be selling t-shirts now. There's a new EP coming out. Yes. Yeah. Wow, I was going to ask about that. I wanted to know when we can get some yeah. new music. Okay. New EP, there's going to be three new tracks, and then uh, the new, long, it's going to be a long sleeve shirt that we're wearing. It's going to have the part of the EP on the front, and the song name will be on the one sleeve. Oh, so very cool. We're going to be releasing more details sometime this week about that. So that's uh, really dope. That's very cool. Yep. Really I'm really excited about to. these shirts too, for sure. They're gonna look really nice. So should I hold out then and wait to buy a shirt, or like, what's the deal? I don't. So I, you can I, buy both. Of them. Uh, yeah. Apparently, like, there's <laughs> these really cool shirts coming out. So I'm gonna have to get one today, and then have to like wait. And get the, I'm gonna be like waiting for the next one to drop. That's yeah. That's really cool. You know, I like. I love seeing. You know, especially of course on the Youngstown music scene, everyone having stuff with their name on. I love the merch. That's great. You know what I mean? I try to get as much as I can mm-hmm. so I can help rep bands. Uh, I have someone's T-shirt on right now. It doesn't matter. Who. <laughs> I was able to find one of your guys' albums online, the self-titled Full Length. I love it. It's great. When did that come out? March 19, 2018. Yeah. yeah. It's been almost a year. How long did it take to record that album? So tell the other musicians, yeah, it's not hard to do it in a couple days if you're actually good at what you do, huh? Aww. <laughs> well, I mean, that's not what I'm saying. And our, but, uh, our producer was really good, too. Was yeah. Frank Tonkar of uh, Peace of Mind. Yeah, I keep hearing that name floating. He must be doing a good job, because I've definitely heard of Frank before. Yeah, he did great. Good he shout did, out there. He did great on the, on the album. Uh, 
I think the most important thing is that you guys did great on the album. Um, <laughs> what's your, speaking of that though, after all the praise, what's your least favorite song that you guys have out? <laughs> the entire album. Oh my god. <laughs> you hate the whole album. No, he's joking. Uh, oh my gosh. You hate Pansy. I hate Pansy. I hate Swindle. Uh, I hate Pixies. I think collectively Pansy is our least favorite. We don't even play it anymore. No? Nah. Not even like, we played an hour and a half set last night and we were pulling out everything that we had and we still left it off. <laughs> <laughs> that poor song. <laughs> I saw the video for Officer Douchebag. Another thing that I think is really cool is when we get to see visual representation of local Youngstown uh, musicians' art. You know what I mean? Um, it's it's hard to I know it's hard to get a music video together and get it filmed, and that's a whole process. So it's really cool. How long did it take to make that? A day. Yeah, it took about one day, five also? six hours. Okay. Yeah, it was like five hours. Lots of running. A lot of running. <laughs> oh, I saw. We I probably saw. ran for like four hours. Yeah. Did you guys have like a collective calorie count for that day? How many you guys Probably like 10,000. Yeah? <laughs> you gotta keep those steppers on your wrist so you know how many steps you took. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where'd you guys film that at? Um, it's called the Federal Food Court. Yeah, the Federal Food Court downtown. Yeah. It's kind of like a hidden mall in downtown Youngstown that I don't, I don't think too many people know about. I've but never there's also it, yeah. like uh, business offices up on the upper floors of it as well. So it was really cool recording there. Uh, one of the things that was tricky about that though because they had three elevators and depending on what was available was the one you got yeah. so you just hit a number and like it would tell you which elevator goes either A, B, or C and for one of the scenes where we went in the one elevator and it came out the bottom and then had to come around go up the next like the one on the other side we probably took like 15-20 takes to get yeah. that perfect that probably took about an hour kind of like plus with people did. with yes. people already like coming down or up from the elevators too, it made it really difficult, but we were so glad when we got that take done. It was so funny when we were doing it and like random people would come out and we were all just standing there. It's definitely really like, it's definitely like really, you have to like hope that people are gonna like realize what you're doing and not get in your fucking way or like start talking, especially the talking is the worst. Um, it's always like, I mean, cause I film interviews at like Pizza Joe's and like, you know, I definitely had some fucking chatter in the background last time I was there. And it's just, you know, some people, they don't know what to do when they get around the camera. I think they think they might become a star. Yeah. I'm sorry it's not going to fucking happen. I didn't come to Pizza Joe's to film you, old lady. Um, <laughs> who played the cop? Um, was he a real, was he a real security officer? No. no. he's an actor. I thought so when I walked in, though. Yeah. Yeah. We did a good job pulling off the security guard. Ball. He was a friend of the Okay. Yeah, we didn't meet him until like the day of, but he's cool, and he did a really good job. I walked in, swore he was a real officer. I was like, did we really just get a like real officer? <laughs> he, he really did like look the part yeah. when I yeah, walked he, in. It was he was pretty perfect for the part of the officer. Yeah, he was. So. He did a great job. And he was a really cool person too. No, yeah, it's really dope. I'm just really impressed by the the whole overall artistry of the video, and I definitely wanted to talk about that a little bit because you you know yeah, you guys are definitely doing. I think things the right way and doing some things that are necessary, like I said, having the merch and the music videos. I definitely encourage that stuff. Keep that stuff up. Um, do you guys have any other music videos out? No. Not yet. <laughs> um, the same director we worked with before, he's going to be listening to the songs on our EP and he's probably going to be working out a new music video based on that. Okay. And then maybe in the future, once we start working on the second full length album, then we'll probably have another music video with a different song then as well. Very cool. I'm definitely looking forward to it. What are you guys into outside of music? Oh, uh, I really like tattoos. Also, I'm a I'm a psychology major, so giving or getting tattoos. Um, give or getting, yeah. Getting, giving, <laughs> nah. giving tattoos. I'd be down, but I can't draw. <laughs> I'd let you give me one. One of my friends gave me one the other day, so that's cool. Sick. I'll keep yeah. that in mind. <laughs> you guys want to see? There you go. Hell yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's for my mom right there. <laughs> Alright, Connor. What about you guys? Uh, I'll, really outside of the band, I don't, I don't do anything, you know? I play video games. I play video games. <laughs> yeah, what games do you play? Fucking Rainbow Six. I play Rocket League. We used to play uh, Rainbow Six, a really old copy of it on Xbox 360, whatever it was like one of the first couple. Las Vegas, I think, was the one. Yeah. That was such a cool game. I'm sure that they've came very far by now. Oh, they really did. They came 
I have respect for video games. I don't play a lot of them, but I definitely used to be a gamer, so I, I, I know a little bit, you know. Yeah. So, outside of the band, I'm a mechanical engineer. I do structural design work for buildings. Holy um, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a smart guy. You might be the smartest person we've ever had on this show. That's <laughs> pretty <laughs> Wow. That's right, not aside, saying a lot, but... Right. But aside from that, um, I like, I usually just play more guitar at home, like, try to come up with new stuff to write for the band. Um, I play trading card games. I play, like, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, whatever oh, I Oh, I used to be a big Pokemon fan. Oh, yeah. You can't go wrong there. Yeah. <laughs> and, I mean, that's pretty much it, I would say, too. All right, well, so, since you guys' band is named after Winona Ryder. Have you ever seen Alien Resurrection? I have not. Nope. No? None of you? Oh my gosh, you guys have to watch it. It's probably the worst fucking one they made. But, <laughs> but, 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 I still love the Aliens movies. Uh, I mean, Ripley Scott is fucking, Ridley Scott, pardon me, jeez Louise. I almost uh, mixed up the name with the main character of the film. Ridley Scott is really awesome. Um, you guys definitely have to check that out. Winona Ryder's definitely a badass in that movie. She fights some aliens, uh, and then probably why she disappeared because that movie wasn't good. We'll probably um, have to have a band movie night to watch that. Yeah, yeah you might as well catch up on your Winona Ryder history, oh, you know yeah. what I mean? You might as well. I only watch Winona Ryder movies from the 80s, so. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, I definitely like Beetlejuice, obviously. He, oh my god, am I 15? My voice just cracked. <laughs> um, I definitely like Beetlejuice a lot. I mean, who the fuck doesn't like Beetlejuice? Right. So, it's a classic. No, I don't blame you at all. What's coming up for you guys, though? Um, we already talked about the new music. Tell people where they can check out the band. Tell them about shows coming up. Tell them about your social media. So we have next, not this coming Wednesday, but the next Wednesday, March 20th, West Side Bowl with HR Department, the Super Babes, and Kay Roman. And then March 23rd at Susie's for the... Make-A-Wish. Benefit show, yeah. Yeah. Oh, very cool. It's always good to get then, involved in a good cause. Very yeah. nice. And then uh, April 13th, which is a little ways away, but we'll be going to Barberton for... I can't remember the name of the event, but it's basically like a um, an artist's... Uh, festival like, type. The artist showcase. festival, like v different Pretty vendors showcase. that go out and sell their products that they make, and they're going to have live music, so we were able to snag spot for that too so that should be pretty fun yeah that's really cool barberton's by akron huh yeah it's probably okay. a few minutes outside of akron okay so people know where to go if they want to check that out mm -hmm. yeah that's very cool do you guys prefer home poops or work poops yeah. <laughs> oh i like work poops way better well like if you're going in there to waste time like go you know go there for like 40 minutes you know get, right. get paid you know yeah Or a home poop, whatever you prefer. We don't discriminate. It's 2019. However, uh, you want to lay it down, it's your business. If you could fight any other band as a whole, band versus band brawl, oh. who would you guys take on? Do you want the truth or do you want us to lie? <laughs> I want you to tell me whatever is going to make people laugh. Nope. Not really, be honest. Uh, I don't care. Tell me whatever you want. I don't think Paul said be honest. <laughs> who do you guys want to fuck up? We don't want to start drawing. <laughs> well, I mean, it doesn't have to be a local band. What? Okay, okay. It could be any band in the whole world. But no, if you okay, want okay. to start drama, I mean, I got you guys' back, so you can, you can throw out a local band. I'll beat them up with you. It's not a big deal. <laughs> There's a few I'd like to beat up, honestly, so. Let's go bigger. Let's go bigger. Bands. Okay, let me know. Yeah, yeah recognizable. What do you think? You guys like want to beat up Green Day or something or like oh, Weezer Green, or? I could kick Billy Joe's ass. Oh, okay. Green Day, yeah, for <laughs> sure. Kick the shit out of Green Day. There's nothing wrong with that. They probably deserve it after they went so far downhill. You should have stayed on meth. <laughs> I know that uh, this uh, you guys aren't uh, a hip hop group. We haven't talked about hip hop, but uh, it does seem today that some of the worst fucking music that's coming out is rap music these days. It's really unfortunate. I'm a huge hip hop fan. Um, so I don't know if you guys have seen or heard of any of these really shitty rappers that are coming out, but who is the worst fucking rapper that's out right now, oh, in your opinion? Uh, so they all sound the same to me, so I, I, I would, would say all of them. Takashi 6 ix 9 yeah. that's why he's in prison for making shitty music. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably 6 9 yeah. But I don't listen to rap at all, so that's why I... He has I, no idea. I listen to like, I listen, I do listen to rap. Uh, I, I just... Well, you're wearing a I'm, I am wearing a Mac Miller. Oh, uh, rest in peace, man. I, I, uh, what a true fucking artist. Rest in course, peace. Of course, I listen to Mac Miller, you know, Eminem, Drake, I guess. I don't know. Drake, question mark. 
<laughs> yeah, big question mark, but I still have respect for you. Um, anyway. <laughs> Will we hear from Renata Ryder again after Stranger Things ends? No. Probably not. This is her last chance, huh? Yes. Yeah, basically. Will we hear from the band again after yes. Stranger Things ends? Yes. So you guys are going to have a longer duration career We're than she did, right? So All right, guys. Well, thanks for coming to the show. Once again, I'm your host, Paul Goon. This band is Where's Winona Now. The show is 13 minutes. You guys fucking rock. And if you don't rock, then you better roll the fuck on out of here. <laughs> No name having looking ragged lame rapper You nut hugger butt buddy fudge packer Okay enough of that, my real friends call me Ash